Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 19, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest news, and you're welcome to support us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So let's get to it. So we'll start by looking at the NASDAQ, and as you can see, we did break quite significantly down today but rally at the end of the session and it's a fairly good sign for the nasdaq so my last video i was pointing out that we are in the daily chart forming a, a head and shoulder pattern and that could mean that if we break above the 50 moving average uh, or above the shoulder here and then we could actually be going to significantly higher levels than 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 expected of course there are many things that are going against this market um interest rates uh, hikes and inflation and also uh, just the overall um, overall condition of the world economy but to be frank this market only cares about liquidity so as long as uh, the federal reserve is going to continue with its qe uh, policy or something resembles that this market will most likely be just fine as it has been for the last 13 years it basically apart from this the market has been in an uptrend um for the since the since uh, the great recession in 2008 so it's going to be interesting when, uh, what happens if we break above the 50 moving average then we are going to target the 200 moving average we also have this double top here um, and if we break below the lows of today, the then we may go and test the bottom here. And then uh, this um, setup here basically falls apart and we may see this go significantly lower. There are going to be a lot of um, comments about interest rates, hikes, uh, inter interest rates hikes this week. And none of them are probably going to be good. So there's going to be a, quite a lot of volatility, especially in uh, the Nasdaq. If you look at technical indicators for the Nasdaq, we can see that the MACD is still bearish, but it is turning around. It looks like it is going to do something similar to this, and we'll have this going like this, and that will be a, a bullish, uh, basically bullish momentum uh, coming in, and that will most likely also fit with this move to the upside if we break the 50 moving average. That is, we also have a crossing here of uh, in the in the stochastic but it's in negative territory so we may see the stochastic uh, continue to the upside and that will also show bullish momentum and we also have the rsi becoming more bullish and there's a lot of room to the upside so if this happens then we're looking at a move of roughly 3000 points to uh, the upside and uh, that will be way above uh, the all-time highs here so it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the Nasdaq. So if you look at the S&P 500, very similar here. We can look at also the. We can also look at the Fibonacci retracements for. We had it here. Sorry. The same goes also for the Nasdaq, and we are got through the 50 Fibonacci retracement and got, are going very close to the 61.8. The Nasdaq actually bounced from the 61.8, which also is a, uh, also very uh, um, bullish shine for the Nasdaq. If we do the same for for the S&P 500, then we kind of also have this head and shoulder uh, set up and we will go significantly higher. So the 50 moving average at 4,411 is what we have to break. Then the 200 moving average at the 4,500, give or take. And after that, it is the highest here of 4,640 and then to the all time highs and higher. So breaking below, breaking below the candlestick from the day or the lows of the day of 4,333, then we may see this market drop all the way down to the very bottom. Taking indicators, they are more negative or bearish. Um, in momentum than for the Nasdaq, we can see that MACD is still just very bearish, entering the bullish, uh, bearish territory. Stochastic is about to cross the signal line, and the RSI is fairly flat at this point. If we look at the Dow Jones, it is doing significantly better than the other two. 
this one is still bouncing off the 15 moving average and is above trading above the 15 moving average at this current stage. Uh, also, technical indicators are also fairly bullish in um, for the Dow Jones. The MACD is still underneath the signal line, but we're still in bullish, ter bullish territory and it's fairly flat. So we may see this turn around and cross the signal line. I think so. We are trading within the square of the highs of being roughly 35k and the lows here being 34.2k if we break above the 200 moving average then we are most likely going to go higher breaking below the 50 then we can drop but also here head and shoulder head and shoulder, head and shoulder pattern that are showing up in the daily chart and it's going to be really interesting what to see what happens in the next few trading days whether or not we can have a breakout from this pattern here so let's look at the European market. So European markets were closed today, so nothing really happened. So yes, I can take my analysis, but it's gonna be similar to what happened in my last analysis for the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ did rally uh, the last three days of uh, last week, and um, and uh, we basically need to break above the 50 moving average in order to go higher. Breaking below the candlestick here, we can see this drop to the very lows, uh, but overall, Technical indicators are turning around. MACD is flat, stochastic is becoming bullish, and so is RSI. And uh, it is just a question whether or not we break above the 50, then we go to the 200, or we break below here and then we drop to the very bottom. So let's look at the VIX. So VIX did um, did uh, gap up and then pull back. So we did see market uh, sell off early in the session and then it fell and at the moment it kind of looks like it's going to read that or fill this gap at least and then go and back towards the 200 moving average and if that is the case then it's going to be bullish for these indices uh, as well if you look at the technical indicators we can see that the macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and rsi is bullish as well looking at 10 year we're up 1.73 percent but we gave most of the gains back at the end of the session so this is very overbought it is it's a matter of time before this basically pulls back towards the middle of the bullish band or probably the 50 moving average as this is nearly parabolical um uh, since the uh, beginning of march so it has had a really a nice run but it is significantly overbought and therefore a pullback should be expected so hope you find helpful you want to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much